Baby D. Oh, my man. There you go. Thank you, thank you, sir. Hey, I was real good for you yesterday, man. Thanks. No, no, I'm going to the real. Stop it, stop it. Do that again. Oh my god. BBD. No, I wasn't expecting. Not expecting that you're going to walk into the elevator with her. You feel the heat. I suggest you guys watch it. It's when Jordan lost to the Pistons game seven. It's a 30 second interview. I was a welfare. And I hate it. If I'm transitioning, I'm going to work hard. That's my number one. In this video, I'm going to give you five tips on how to be a real life success story. What's cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zappali here with another episode of Living Money Smart. And if you're watching this on Facebook, please click like and follow our business page. And if you're watching this on YouTube, right here, click subscribe and click the notification button to be alerted the next time we upload our next video. And of course, we're going to do another Twitter challenge. We're going to give you this book, How I Raised Myself from Failure to Success in Selling. If you tweet me at Matt Zappala, the answer to the question I'll be asking at the end of this video. We recently came back from an annual convention last week, which was held in Las Vegas at the Venetian. Look at this, they have hotel key cards out there. Hotel key cards. Crazy, man. It was highlighted by a message that my mentor Patrick Bet David gave during our gala awards night about whether or not our next generation of kids should actually go to college. And of course, Kevin Hart took a quick detour during his irresponsible tour to make time for PHP agency to give us a little bit of what he's doing on tour, his jokes, as well as a little bit of Q&A with our CEO, Patrick Bet David, from stage. Both of these guys, along with the majority of our guests in attendance there that day, all came from nothing. I can't think of one person amongst the 4,600 that were there in attendance that came from wealth, that came from a pedigree, that came from a financial head start inherited from one generation down to them. So the question I ask you is how come some people are making it and some people aren't? How do some actually evolve into a real life success story and some just settle for the average and ordinary? If nobody's told you lately, you, the one watching this video, that you are bound for greatness. 100% I believe that is bound for each and every one of you watching this video. It's my belief system that God doesn't make any mistakes. You, my friend, are destined to do something great, to be an inspiration around those that you love and care about. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five tips on how to be a real life success story. You wanna be financially free? Yeah. You wanna knock out some debt? Yeah. All right, I'll keep you going. Tip number one, take ownership and take responsibility. Stop blaming everyone, anyone, or anything. More importantly, stop dwelling in the past. You are living in the now. You've got more control over your situation than you are allowing yourself to believe. Number two, be active in your own rescue. Don't wait around for somebody to spoon feed you solutions. You're grown, you ain't no baby. You gotta go out there, you gotta shake the trees, you gotta go out there and meet people, even if you don't know anybody in the room. Find like-minded people that are willing to think bigger and more importantly, willing to do bigger. and more importantly willing to do bigger don't let your age i don't care if you're 18 or 81 years old or any age in between the fact that you don't have a college degree the fact that you don't have the right credit score the fact that you don't have any money the pedigree or wealthy friends or any other limiting belief make you think that you don't deserve success and you deserve to win big tip number three do what you fear you see i see a lot of people out there gathering information gaining education and yet doing nothing with it. Why? You've got to do the dirty, dirty. What am I talking about? You got to pick up the phone. You got to set up appointments. 
You gotta shake hands. You gotta be told no. You're gonna be hung up on. Did you think that success would be easy? Absolutely not. But if you continue working at it every day on a consistent, committed basis, guess what? It's gonna be so worth it. Tip number four, involve others. Let your family know, the people that you love and care about, that they may not see you in the same way they saw you before. You gotta let them know that you're about to transcend their family name. Find people in your community, find people on social media that deepen your spirit, heighten your conviction, and hold you accountable. Work with a local team, work with a local office, and guess what, if you don't have one, start one. People love nothing more than a person that's 100% committed, confident, and willing to follow through with what they say. Is that you? Then you're ready to become a real life success story. Five levels of commitment. I work with committed people. First level of commitment, all in, all in type folks. Se second level are people who are initiators. Third one is the responder. Fourth level, I only do business when I feel like it. Number five, uh, Mr. Perfect. I expect you to be perfect, but never me. I only work with one, two, three. Tip number five, help others. And here's the thing about Jordan, he made everybody better. But here's the thing, here's what I want you to know. I want to be on your team. I want to make you better. You want me as your partner. You need me in your corner. You want me to fight for you. You want me in the trenches. We're fighting for this doggone thing together. In your journey, you're going to find a lot of people that were experiencing your same situation. They're up to the eyeballs in debt, living paycheck to five minutes, parent issues, children issues, baby mama drama, baby daddy drama anything that keeps them negatively distracted. Because life keeps hitting them in the mouth, they're gonna eventually find themselves deeper and deeper, deeper in a hole. You see, that's the perfect moment for you to stick your hand out there and lend a helping hand. Intercede, stand in a gap, challenge them. I've got 100% no problem inconveniencing somebody if it's for their own good. It's truly an act of boldness on your part that's something they'll later thank you for. Raise your hand if you want your life back. Raise your hand if you want control of your life. Do you want to work 37 years? Do you want to work 42 years? Or do you want to work 40 months and bust your ass every freaking day? Guess what? I get control right here. Everybody put your hands in front of you. Right? Wave your fingers in front of you. Say, I, I have, have control. So here's my final thoughts on you building your real life success story. In this journey, the destination is pretty cool, but the best part about it is the people that we're about to become, that you're about to become. Deeper, That's all we need. <laughs> your success will allow you to be a better son, a better daughter, a better husband, a better wife, a better cousin, a better community leader. You'll be taking branches of your family tree and the branches of other families tree and bending them forever because you decide to be bold and stick your flag in the ground to become a success story. Our motto this year as the Money Smart Movement team was to be one, build one. I hope that you don't second guess yourself by valuing the opinion of other people that don't pay your bills. See, in this journey, you're naturally going to attract people that you're meant to serve but simultaneously are also going to repel people that you want, and that's okay. Your job in building your real life success story is you've got to keep going. Okay, it's time for our weekly Twitter challenge. Tweet me the answer to this question at Matt Zappala using the hashtag livingmoneysmart. Here's the question. Why do you want to become a real life success story? Tweet me and we'll randomly select a winner to send them this book, How I Raise Myself, from failure to success in selling. Now, if you're still watching this video on Facebook and you're still watching it to this point, I hope I earned a new like on our business page. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you're still watching this video up to this point, I hope I earned a new subscriber. Please click subscribe and also hit and click the notification tab to be alerted when we upload our next episode. Thanks for watching this episode of League Money Smart. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.